Hey everyone, it's Sueb Khan again and welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we designed the UI layout and data structure for our chat app. Today, we are going to start building it up. We are going to set up the initial layout of the app, add the search user's input and functionality, and then go on to create a new chat. So let's get started. So let's first see where we are going to add our chat app layout. So if you remember in our previous video on authentication, we created a component called home. This was a default component which, uh, on which we are navigated to when we log in with our user. So we're going to use this home component and we're going to build up our chat app layout here. So as you can see, we already have some code here. Let's just remove all of it. And we're going to first add a div, which would be a container. We're going to call it container. And then we're going to give it some styles. So the container would have a display of flex because you want to have two columns in a row. And then we want to have a fixed height here, which would be 100 VH, which is the screen height and about 70 pixels, which is the height of the toolbar here. Next, we're going to add the two divs or the two panels, which are side by side. So one panel would be called the class would be chat list and then the other one would be the messages okay now for the chat list let's add some styles as well so for the chat list we're going to add a width of 40 percent some margin a background color should be close to our primary color here but a bit lighter and then a border radius for those nice rounded borders great let's test this out okay so here we can see that we have some extra padding here and that is because in our previous app we added some global padding to all our roots. So we're going to remove that by going into app.component.html and just removing this content from here. Okay, so now this looks much better. And uh, here we are going to add the secret mat elevation class as well. And the same we are going to do with our messages. Great, so this left side panel looks good. Now for the right side panel, we will do something similar. We're just going to copy it in and this width would be 60%, the margin would be 16, the background we want to create as white and the rest of the things remain the same. Great, so we have our right side panel as well. Okay, now that we have our panels ready, the basic layout, we're going to start adding our components. So the first component we want to add is our search input where we're going to search for users. So for that, we're going to first add a div here and within it, we're going to add a mat form field and an input. Now this input would be a mat input it would have a placeholder of search for users and of course it also needs to have a form control but we don't have a form control as yet so let's quickly add that form control to our home component here so we are going to call it search control this will be a new form control and let's add search control here great uh, now let's see how this looks okay it's too uh, narrowly lined up here so we are going to add some margins here uh, we're going to call it search input the class and then in our css we're going to add some margin to the search input which would be about 24 pixels great this looks much better okay so the next thing that we need to do is to add uh, if you remember we need to add a drop down uh, so that we can select uh, any of the user that we want to chat with so to do that we're going to use the mat autocomplete uh, component in angular material and for that, we're going to go in our app module again and we'll include it quickly. First, we're going to add an import for it. Then we're going to add mat autocomplete module. Great. So now let's add the mat autocomplete component here. And what we need to do here is that we need to give it an identifier and export it as mat autocomplete. And then we need to link it up with our input field so that it uh, pops up when we click on it or we change it. So we're going to use the mat autocomplete property and we're going to specify users here. Okay. And now in a mat autocomplete, we can add uh, different mat options. So let's add a single option and then just test it out to see whether it works. So let's test this. And now when we see, now when we click on it, we are going to see a drop down here like this. Great. This works. But of course we want to uh, have uh, the users of our app uh, in these mat options. So for that, we need uh, an observable of data of all users, which we get from our Firestore. So let's go to our TS and then we are going to go to the user service and we're going to create a getter here, which is going to give all our users. So we're going to do get all users here. And this is going to be an observable of profile user and it will going to be an array. 
so the first thing we need to do here is just to refer to the users collection okay we're going to use collection here and we're going to you uh, pass in this dot firestore and specify the users collection then we're going to declare a query here now this query is only going to refer to the collection and we're not going to add any extra conditions to it because we want to get all users and we're just going to return the collection data function which is going to give us a real time list of data uh, for our users and we're going to cast it as an observable of profile user array great so we have an all users function here which will be real time uh, once again so that whenever there is a change in the uh, firestore database in our users list it is, it is directly updated here in our observable great so we are going to add a users observable here and we're going to refer it to the user service dot all users and now let's go back to our mat autocomplete here remove this hello and we're going to just give here ng4 let user of users since it's an observable we need to use the async pipe to subscribe to it and then inside of the mat option we can use the user and its display name specifically to display its name okay so let's try this out and see whether we're getting all of our users or not okay yes we can see we get a nice list of all of our users great so this works but now there are two things here that we need to do now the first issue here is that we can see all our users and as you can see we can also see our own user here so Zweb is logged in here and we can see Zweb here as well now we cannot chat with our own self uh, in our app uh, I don't know whether it's even uh, advisable to do it in any app so uh, we need to remove it from this list and the second issue is that we need to modify the list to reflect the current search term here um, so for example if we type in Zen here uh, it should filter the list according to the what we have written here okay so to do that uh, we are going to use the combined latest operator in RxJS and we're going to modify this users observable so let's see how we can do that so the first thing that we need to do here then is that we are going to remove this and we are going to add a combined latest RxJS operator. Now we can give any number of observables here. We are going to give three observables here. So the first one would be the same that we have right now that is user service dot all users. Okay. The second one would be our current user which is user dollar which we have already declared here. Okay. And the third would be our search con and not only the search control uh, or rather the search control and the value changes for it okay so it says that it's being used here before so we are going to shift it up here great and we're going to use the value changes observable here but we also need to do one more thing and that is to use uh, that is to add a start with in a pipe so that we can specify the first value for th now this is needed so that our combined latest fires immediately otherwise it's going to wait for the value changes to happen all three of these observables need to give at least one value for this combined latest to fire so uh, we need to give a start with here so that it does it immediately okay so now we have combined latest here and we're going to add a pipe to it and we're going to add a map operator we're going to get three sets of data here so the first would be the all users the second would be the current user and the third would be your search string all right and what do we want uh, to get from here we just want to use a filter with two conditions so we're going to filter the users array and the condition would be the first condition would be that uh, you or uh, any users display name to lowercase should include your search string dot to lowercase all right this means that it should filter it should only show those users which are a subset of what we are typing in our input field the second condition that we want is to actually just check whether it's the current user or not so we are going to check whether u.uid is not equals to your user.uid all right so this means that our current user is not going to be included so this should return the correct users that we want here so we are going to just test this out and see whether it works okay now when we click on it we should uh, see that we don't have our currently logged in user great that works and when we start to type in we are going to see that okay we can restrict or we can filter our users according to what we have okay great so this works now the final thing that we need to do in this video is to create a chat when we click on any of these users okay and when we create the chat then obviously it's going to be displayed in a chat list below that 
So to create a chat, we need to add a create chat handler here. So we are going to um, on each option, we are going to add a click handler and we're going to say create chat and we're going to pass in the user that we need to create a chat uh, with. So now let's uh, add some code for our handler here. So we're going to add a handler here called create chat and this would be the user which would be uh, or rather let's say the other user so that it's clear what this represents this is going to be a profile user now uh, we need to create a new chat service where we can encapsulate all of our functionality for creating the chat so let's create a chat service here we're going to do ngg service and we're going to do it in our services folder and chats great we have created a service so we are going to go in our chat service now and the first thing obviously that we need to do here is to include firestore here first okay angular fire firestore and then we're going to create a function here called create chat this is going to take the other user as we specified profile user and we uh, and the return type here would be the id of the new chat that we have created so this would be an observable of string okay so first in this first one we need to create uh, we need to get the current user as well so to get the current user we need to include our user service obviously so we're going to include the user service and first we're going to uh, create a reference as well to our chat to our uh, this dot firestore and the chats collection then we're going to return and we're going to first access our user service current user profile let's pipe into it uh, take one value out of it and then we're not going to take we're not going to listen it to real time because we don't want it to reflect new changes when for example the user login changes so we only want to get a snapshot of the current user uh, logged in at this point and then we just want to stop this observable from uh, executing we're going to do take one here which is going to restrict it to one emission and then we're going to use the concat map the operator to join this up with an add doc function okay now remember the add doc function is used to add a new document to firestore and the first thing obviously here would be that we're going to give the reference we want to add it to the charts collection and then we need to give the object that we are going to uh, add to the collection so remember that we need uh, we structured this document um, and we talked about uh, setting the user ids for this chat and the user objects for this chat so let's first add the user ids for this chat we're going to give user ids this would be an array so the first one would be our current user our current user we get from here so we're going to do user dot uid and then we're going to add the other user which we get from above here okay great and then we need to add the users array which will contain two objects one for the first user and the second for the second user containing their details that we we will actually duplicate in our chat so that we can show it in the list so for example we are going to use the display name first and this is for the first user so we are going to do user dot display name okay and since uh, this can also be undefined in our data object, we will use a nullish co-leasing and just make this undefined and just uh, handle it for the undefined case. The second is the photo URL, which we're going to need. And this would be user dot photo URL. And this is also in this case. Okay. So the same thing we're going to do for the second object, but for the second object, we are going to make this the other user. All right, great and uh, obviously we have uh, some other data that we can put in our um, uh, doc chat document as well but uh, initially the last message and the last message data is going to be empty uh, since there's no conversation so we're going to leave it with just this data okay now after this um, since we have the concat map with us we are going to just add a map and we're going to get the reference and the reference we're going to just return back the reference id great so here we're going to get the newly created chat id here great so create chat is done okay so now let's um, add create chat here so we're going to include our chat service and we're going to call this to chat service dot create chat and we're going to pass in the other user and don't forget to subscribe to it is subscribe to it as well because otherwise it might not get executed great okay great so we can now create a chat now how do we test this so a good way to test this is obviously to create the chat list as well but we're going to do it in the next video so in this video all we're going to do is to just check our 
Firebase console and see whether it gets updated there. So let's go in our Firebase console here. Okay. So here we can see that we don't have any charts. The charts is basically empty. We just have the users collection thing. So let's create some charts here. So let's say I want to chat with my brother who's Zen. So we are going to click on this and it should have created a chart in the background. So let's see now we're going to refresh it and we can see that we have a chat collection now and we can see that we have a chat document and we have the user IDs for both my and my brother Zan's details. Great. So we can create the chat. Let's test another one. So let's add another chat here with my sister who's Hina here. And let's see how, let's see whether, so yes, we can see we have another document added here and let's check this out. So yes, it's with Zweb and Hina. So yes, we can create the chat now. So in the next video, we are going to show all, uh, all of these charts in the list down here so that we can use it to create and uh, read messages later on. Good. So I hope uh, you like this video and we will continue in the next video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for future updates. Thanks for watching.